What is up, everyone? Happy Friday. Friday, October 20th. On the downhill slope of October. A little bit of red coming in, but seeing a little bit of push up from the futures here. Man, yesterday was wild, huh? Jeez, uh, talk about some major swings in the market. Netflix was up over 15% after earnings. And they're currently uh, up a little under 1%. But uh, yeah, yesterday was wild. Right now, the S&P is down uh, 7, NASDAQ down uh, 29, Dow futures down 64. So and I would think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a zero DTE iron condor and the bell rings. As my paper trading continues. I've been focusing on, um, I mentioned something in the Zero DTE channel yesterday. Uh, I've been focusing on Iron Ducks, obviously our Mighty 90 and Runners, and then the Zero DTE Iron Condors. And uh, up, up, up around 15K since the uh, beginning of October. So, of course, uh, a lot of that uh, when it comes to Zero DTE Iron Condors is paper trading. I was just looking at. But I'm... Um, Trading Iron Ducks and uh, Mighty 90 Runners, real money. And then Zero DTE is paper. So I told myself I'd give it a few months. And so, man, it's really tempting right now to jump in with real money. But you know, I want to get a few months results on my Zero DTE. I uh, also need to watch the Reverse Iron Condor course and start practicing that. So the bell has rung. S and P down six. Bear with me here. I'm gonna put in my as this first five minutes goes on. I'll Put in my zero DTE. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Thirty five put. Amazon pushing down. Tesla still coming down. Got hurt real bad after earnings yesterday. For some reason, my sound isn't working in TOS. So I'm not hearing my fills.
Good morning, Bumblebee. I think got my zero DC zero DTE iron condor in. Oh, here we go. Second uh, bar is now rolling. You looking for some volume here? It's Friday, so we will be trading the seven DTE for the Mighty Ninety Runners, not not zero. So make sure you're on the correct one. Look for some volume coming in here. And for some reason, I'm not, I didn't, my sound isn't working to where I hear when I get filled. That's kind of worrisome. I miss a fill. Volume looking pretty light here. Yeah, pretty light volume. Roku getting some volume, but it's in the opposite direction. So it really doesn't do us much good. NVIDIA getting a little bit of volume. About halfway there. I don't know if we'll get there, though.
My eye on NVIDIA. Roku. Opposite direction. I don't think NVIDIA is going to get there. Roblox getting close. But I don't think anything's going to get there. Coinbase got there in the opposite direction. So not really seeing any volume runners out of the gates, which is not uncommon on a um, Friday. VIX is down two and two thirds percent. Fridays are always a little bit lighter in terms of trading. So if you're new, um, in Fridays I try to just get a couple trades in and, you know, if I can and get out, it's a lot of times you don't get a lot of good setups. It's just lighter trading. VIX coming down though. So I'll look for some mighty 90s here. So Mighty 90, we're looking for that uh, third bar to be higher than the previous one and in the same direction. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are all my those are my three favorite days, really. I mean, you'll get you'll get lower volume and then you'll get like this, like Tesla stair stepping down in volume. And you can even see like the range. Like look at Tesla's got a really tight range. Same thing with Roku and Amazon. I mean, they all pretty much do. So you get a tight range that makes it difficult. And then when you get the volume that stair steps down, it makes it difficult as well.
Baba getting a big volume bar, but again, you can see it's a really tight range and it's like real close to flipping back and forth red green. So I don't really, I don't really just kind of stay away from them. Like look at Apple and Microsoft, man, just small volume. <laughs> So don't want to force anything. I mean, even Coinbase getting a big volume bar to the upside. So I would consider this an upside volume runner, even though the first one's red. It got a big green one, and then now another big green one. So that would qualify it for a upside volume runner. So Coinbase, man, remember seven DTE, seven DTE. It would trade the seventy-five calls. Build it three bucks in Coinbase. And so if it if it pushes back down and goes below right here, then I would cut it. So I saw it as kind of a pretty low risk trade. It had some pullback already. And I would get out of half at 330. So put that in. I'm gonna have to watch. For some reason, my like I mentioned, I can't hear my fills, and so I'm gonna have to. Pay close attention. And just it almost it, it almost seems really lighter than normal even like I Fridays are usually light days but man this thing this seems like it's even lighter than a normal Friday I mean Apple Microsoft Amazon Netflix Meta just no volume at all filled at three thirty in Coinbase it's close half. So nice push up in coin. Uber pushing up. Netflix up almost 2% after earnings. So no pullback in Netflix yet. I guess Baidu got a kind of got a mighty 90. I'd like to see it a little more separation there, but I'll close another Coinbase at 360. Roku, look how tight a range that is. Meta. I feel kind of lucky to have gotten in on coin. We pushing up this pivot.
Let's hope it gets through that pivot. Yeah, I mean, just very, very little volume. Boeing, Square, all these really tight range. Yeah, Bidey would have been a nice mighty 90 to get filled right there. Missed that one. Target pushing up. Uh, no Mighty 90 and Baba. This, this, at least according to Orion, this bar is bigger than the, the first one. So therefore it would not be bigger than, or it not would be, it wouldn't be a Mighty 90. It, it can't be as big as the first, first bar. Look at Baidu and then look at Baba. See, Baidu isn't bigger than the first bar. Coinbase pushed up, man, close to close to getting filled. It was pretty close to getting rid of another Coinbase. Want it to stay above that pivot. Not many chance, not many options so far, not many opportunities. Yeah, you know, just look across the board here on Intel, Zoom, JPM, all of these, just nothing. No opportunities. Roku, stair stepping down. NVIDIA, stair stepping down. My zero DTE iron condor is pretty much set in dead center still. Want to put it on right when the market opens? Build a 360 Coinbase. Nice job. Pushed up right up to yesterday's high. I like to see it blow through yesterday's high. Still nothing. Apple, extremely small volume. Amazon, same. Boeing pushing through highs. You know, Netflix um, had a nice push up here. Now it's just chopping. I'm wondering 
if it's setting up for like an upside continuation where you got this push up then a pause still pretty early to get to to uh put on a continuation runner yeah coinbase really coming down now well that's interesting it pushed right up to yesterday's high and then got rejected Uh, zero DT iron condor. Take a look here. I am the forty three hundred and forty three fifty calls, and the forty two thirty five and and forty one eighty five puts. So fifty points wide. So forty three hundred. And then 4350 calls, 4185, 4395. They were pretty much right at the 20 deltas. And right now it's currently, I got filled at 835 and it's currently at 820. And I've got an order at 665 to get out of half my contracts in it. In a, in a, Trail stop at thirteen Coinbase trying to hold on there. It came down, popped back up, took a pause. Let's hope it let's hope it now rips through highs. S P down 10, NASDAQ down 31, Dow down 53. So it hasn't the, the indices haven't haven't um, gone too far since the open. But man, I'm just I'm it just doesn't look like I'm gonna get anything on some of these, you know, Apple, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft. It just it just doesn't look like any one of these want to give me a a setup here to trade just due to such low volume. Yeah, see Netflix pushed down, popped right back up. I wondered if it would be continuing upward. I was going to give it about 10 or 15 more minutes, and if it was still holding, I was going to maybe get long for an upside continuation. Yeah, I was looking at NVIDIA too. It's, it, it's kind of the same thing, but it's, it's pushing up now. I see it's breaking through highs. So it was a little early to do a continuation runner, but but that's kind of what you look for is you look through a little bit, you know, some just consolidation where it just kind of doesn't go anywhere after a push up. I mean, if this would have happened about, you know, 10 or 15 minutes from now probably would have, and it still might, still might come down here. We'll have to just keep an eye on it. And sometimes on Fridays, like it just doesn't move much, you know? So you gotta be careful with theta decay too. I mean, even though we're on the seven DTEs, the price doesn't move. Coinbase trying to get through yesterday's high. So that's good. I've got an order in it. I got an order in it at 390 to close another quarter of Coinbase. So Baba had a little mighty 90 short here. Although there's you know not a lot of separation there. 
Let me check it and toss. Yeah, I would probably consider that a mighty 90 and uh, Baba. So let's take a look. So if it can push up to the top here, I'll jump in a put here. And I would trade the 81 puts. So I'll put an order in at... Um, A buck sixty. See if it'll hit me. It's gonna have to push up though. This is where you know you've got a little bit of uh, separation there, like a, with the mighty ninety, and then it pushes up even more. That's where I really like to get filled. Love for it to push back up, but it may not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, if it could have gotten filled right up at the top here, it'd probably be even be out of half right now. Yep. You gonna cancel my baba? JPM staying weak. Intel staying strong. Uber pushing up. And now a little, little pullback here. Could be upside continuation. Netflix coming back down. I wonder what I wonder what Netflix. What Netflix uh, calls are sitting at right now? Yeah, I'll jump in some Netflix calls, 410 calls. Try to get filled at seven bucks. A little upside continuation. Build at 710. Little upside continuation runner in Netflix on the 410 calls. Man, Tesla, woo, pushing up. Build at 390. Coinbase to shed another. Yeah, two Coinbases left. So if Netflix breaks down below right here, I'll probably bail on it. So you can kind of see where the uh, key level is, how it's hasn't gone very far in what 30 minutes. Two Coinbase left. You definitely could have got a better fill than I got in Netflix, that's for sure. If you're new, I always tell people, you know, don't don't think you got to get the exact fill that I get. Sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll, I adjust my, I look at like how much time's left in the five minute bar. And if, a lot of times if I really want in a trade and it's in the last minute, I'll just adjust to get filled. Or depending on where price is, I'll adjust to get filled.
man, you can see Bob, it really, it really pushed up. I, I definitely would have gotten filled on that mighty 90, but it looks like it might put together a big green volume bar. So I'm kind of glad I didn't. Tesla, maybe getting the mighty 90 short. Yeah, and NVIDIA is still consolidating. That's correct. So Netflix coming down. It's kind of right there at that point where I want to see it bounce. So I'm in Netflix rather than NVIDIA. I mean, they're basically the same thing. So I'm not going to do both of them. But if you're not in Netflix, you know, I wouldn't get in NVIDIA unless it comes down to about right here. Uber bounce. I thought that might happen. Okay, so Netflix, um, you know, it, it's it's dipping its toe below, so I want to see it hold. S and P coming down a little bit; it's down seventeen now. So you can see why it's important to get a good fill. Like in, Net in Netflix, like if I could have gotten a little bit better fill, you know, then you're, it's like you can you can get out of half a lot easier. But uh, no, everything was everything is starting to push up. You see how Tesla pushed up, and I I just I got in. I was aggressive to, on my get in there, but uh, it, it definitely came down some more. All right, so Netflix. I'm going to go ahead and cut my Netflix. Build at 635 to close Netflix. So broke down. And it may still bounce, but, you know, I only did a couple contracts. And I could have added maybe, but. And I went in with just a couple hoping that it would uh, bounce, and if it came down, I could add, but it's just pushing down too far now to even add to it. So I'll just take the small loss. And that's that's the beauty of a continuation runner. You know, if you get filled close to where the, you know, in this case, it would be a long, it would be a upside continuation because of this push up. But if you get filled on, you know, the bottom part of the consolidation area, and it goes against you, you know, it's, it's not a big loss. So it's kind of something we kind of take for granted with these strategies. Like if you, if you, if you play them right, you shouldn't have massive losses. Things starting to get pretty weak now. S&P down 21. So it's really starting to fall. So check my zero DTE. Yeah, it's in the, it's, it's in the negative right now. So need a bounce here. Or, uh, it's at nine bucks. My stop is at 1350. So it's got a little ways to go, but.
but uh i tell you it, it's uh there's not a lot of positivity going on right now in the world so there's not a lot of reason for stocks to be going up unfortunately and i think i saw something this morning about um what was that Treasury yields were as high as they've been since 2007, which we know what happened then. So Coinbase coming down. Yep, that's right, Bumblebee, just way too much uncertainty. We need to get some, we need to get, I mean, we all have our political opinions, but I just don't feel like we have strong leadership going on at the moment here in the United States and a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unrest, a lot of wars. So Coinbase, as long as it holds above this pivot, I'll keep it. But if it starts like, like it wants to just start flushing like some of the rest of these, then I will uh, just bail on it. It's kind of trying to look for a downside continuation runner here, but The VIX is still negative. It's really hard to it's really hard to get in some of these because the range is so tight. Netflix setting up for a rebound upside runner. I mean, I don't trade the, the rebound runner very much, so I'm not really. I mean, I probably haven't traded the rebound runner in a couple of years. So. Something I probably could go back over and polish up my knowledge on it's just that you know with the mighty 90 the volume runner and the continuation runner that's three strategies and that's kind of all i took on when i started leading the live stream felt like that was enough to to be trading and it just seemed like the continuation and volume runners were just a little more consistent all right, so Coinbase, I'm going to go ahead and get out of it. As things look like a flush is coming. Build at 340. So, still a good trade, but man, I had a couple of contracts left when this pulled back here. S&P down 27. Piton. Yeah, it's a little mighty 90 there, but I mean, it's just such a small stock. But that's a good, I mean, you, you're correct in identifying that volume was pop is bigger than the previous. And then you got a little, little more upside. It'd be good, you know, if this was a stock that was a tradable in terms of its price, I'd would be a good spot to get in. Wow. So not currently in anything in this flush.
Yeah, I mean, I'm probably up just a little bit because of the Netflix was a smaller losing trade, but yeah, I'm sitting here trying to find a short to get if we're getting this flush, but there's just it's just nothing. Microsoft is looking like a little mighty 90. That volume is so small, though. But it's setting up for a mighty 90 long. S&P down 28. Dow down 176. NASDAQ down 94. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on my iron ducks as well that I have on. I had a couple iron ducks that were sitting right in the middle of the duck head. So I'm going to try a little, uh, try a little Microsoft. Mighty 90 here. Ah, it's already bouncing. Are you kidding me? All right, never mind. Still, the volume's really small, though. So Roku, I'm going to try a little downside continuation in Roku. Range is pretty tight, but 61 puts in Roku. Now let's wait a second here. Is there a better option to get short on this uh, bounce? <laughs> Coinbase bounced right back up. See, Fridays can be a little erratic. Wow, oh, okay, really pop back up. Of course, tight range though. It's not as far as it, it's not as big as it looks. I'm gonna get short uh, Amazon on a downside continuation. One twenty six puts. Where is my sound? Why is it not making a sound? Filled at 465. So it's pushed down, has a little two bar pop up. Looking forward to roll back over. Now we close half at 510. S&P down 29. Not looking good for my zero DTE iron condor. It's up to 10.15. My stop is at 
JPM just bleeding lower. I was considering downside in, in that one, but didn't bounce much. Wow, look at Roku really pop up. Of course, I mean, when you look at it, the range is what? 61.5 of a, a five tenths of a point. So. Need to bounce out of the S&P to get my iron condor back in the green. But futures are not looking good. You can see the old flush we got going on here. I like to see a little bounce. Except in Amazon, it does not bounce. That's the key down 30 now. Amazon trying to roll over. You can see why that's that was a good out in Netflix there. Be down thirty one. Get out in Coinbase. Uh, alpha options, you probably want it. We don't, we're not doing the reverse iron condor here. We're doing the mighty 90 and runners. So you want to go to the zero DTE chat for those. No worries. And then on the live stream. So if you click on live stream channel under the day trading channels you can see see where it says on the 20th today it's me live so that would be uh mighty 90 runners and then the zero dte the orange would be those iron condors reverse iron condors and whatnot
So Amazon trying to roll over here for us. Even though it's uh, tight range here. S&P still down 30. I'd like for it to just hold right there. I have an order at 510 to close half of my Amazon. Man, is it going to get bloody today or what? Costco bleeding lower. So Amazon came down to where it bounced. So will it bounce again here or will it push through lows of day? Apple looks like it wants to push through lows of day. So it could have gotten, that's another one. It could have got short right here when, on this, when it popped up. NASDAQ uh, is the weakest. Well, I guess NASDAQ and S&P are about the same, down three quarters of a percent. S&P down 31, though. I don't know that it's going to hold. The Dow tried to give a, has tried to give it a little bit of a bounce here, but the S&P is not looking good. Not quite sure how I did not get filled in Amazon. Filled at 505. So I got out of half my Amazon just because I wanted to shed half. Amir, that's the that's the one twenty six puts, not the sixty one puts. Not sure how you got sixty one there. It's Amazon's the one twenty six puts.
S&P still coming down, down 31. NASDAQ breaking lows. Man, it might be bloody day, folks. And look at Roku. Popped up, came all the way back down. Microsoft pushed through lows. S&P down 33. It's inching closer and closer to my stop. On my iron condor. Amazon, what are you doing? So Amazon, I'm just... It's 9.30 Central, so I'm not going to get in any more trades here. It's just not many good setups, plus um, the range is so tight and all these. So Amazon, if it, if it bounces and, and gets back above where it got forced down right here, I'll just cut it. Otherwise, I'll scale out. So that's how I would play it. So what you can see it's like a tight range. And so if it's if it just doesn't if it also if it if it just doesn't move much, I mean it's a 125 30. I mean it's all within a point here. If I don't see much movement, I may just close it out too. So not waste my time. So let's see live stream next week well, is the same as it was this week. I'll be back Monday, Tuesday, and Friday of next week. Steve here, Wednesday, Thursday. Everyone have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Peace.